in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Barty Crouch Jr., disguised as Alistair Moody, performs the three unforgivable curses on a spider during his first defence against the Dark Arts class, even though it's against the law and any use of the curses will get the user sent straight to Azkaban. So why the bar to use them in a classroom? Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. When only it remembers to turn on the light. Now before the comments come in saying it's different in the book, yes I'm well aware of that. I know he uses three different spiders instead of one, but I believe the movie version just sets the tone a little better for me personally. I'm also not going to include Harry being put under the Imperious course either and resisting. So this is just based on the torture of the spider in the movie scene. Now, there's several reasons why Barty uses the unforgivable courses and why he gets away with doing it too. Now, it starts with the subject or the host, in this case a spider, as in not a human. Now, some of you are aware that the Ministry stands on beings or creatures considered below them, they simply don't care. Look at the centaurs, relegated into smaller and smaller territories, werewolves, subject to prejudice laws, goblins, not allowed wands, the list goes on. So if you believe that there will be any consequence for killing a small spider or torturing it or anything like that, I think many of you will be mistaken. So Barty chooses the right host or in this case, the right victim. And in addition to that, the spiders or the other small creatures are in the jars there, so they must be there for a reason. Next, Barty needs to create the opportunity to demonstrate the curses to the classroom with the right people. Knowing his father would have told him something about the curses, Ron Weasley correctly mentions the Imperious Curse, to which Barty humours the class by having the spider crawl on the students at his command until the atmosphere in the room switches to an uneasy amount of tension on the decision of whether to have the spider drown itself or kill itself through other means. Now this appears that he's generally trying to prep students for what's out there but I believe more importantly it's to subconsciously intimidate them of what's about to come their way should they defy dark forces. Imagine someone that could make you submit to their will. Now let's move on to the next one, the Cruciatus Curse. A curse that's so painful it can mentally unhinge the victim, sinking their minds into a place from where they can't return. Neville Longbottom knows all about this curse. He's grown up to parents who don't even recognise their own son due to the effects of the Cruciatus Curse. And what's more disturbing is that the man who participated in the torture of his parents was purposely reopening Neville's wounds trying to paint a picture for the boy to see the distress his parents went through. Now a spider can't replicate a human in distress, but pain is still pain regardless, and it deeply bothered poor Neville. The rest of the class could see it too. And once again it appears as Barty was trying to intimidate the students not to resist when the Dark Lord returns, to show them that the consequence of being on the wrong side is fatal. And when it came to the killing course, Crouch Jr. was rather quick, displaying how easily and instantly the course takes the victim's life. It left the chill upon the necks of everyone in the classroom, especially as the spider was so helpless, a somewhat comparison to the students coming up against those who will use the course regardless. In conclusion, it's my opinion that with Barty Crouch Jr. of the belief that the Dark Lord's return was all but a certainty, his display of the unforgivable courses was to instill fear into the students, disguised as a method of preparation. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps the video out in a great deal. And if you feel like my YouTube channel has earned your subscription then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell for further notifications. Thank you very much again for watching and have a great day.